we write each polar equation as a Cartesian equation or rectangular equation, which means we need to write the given equations in terms of x and y using the equations below. The first equation is r equals three cosecant theta. There are several ways to write this as a Cartesian equation. However, since y equals r sine theta, let's write cosecant theta in terms of sine theta. Remember, cosecant theta and sine theta are reciprocals of one another, or more specifically, cosecant theta is equal to one divided by sine theta. Let's perform this substitution for cosecant theta. This gives us the equation r equals three times one over sine theta, or three divided by sine theta. And now from here, we will clear the denominator of sine theta from the equation by multiplying both sides by sine theta. On the left side, we now have r sine theta. On the right side, sine theta divided by sine theta simplifies to one. The right side simplifies to three. And again, we know y equals r sine theta, and therefore we can substitute y for r sine theta here, giving us the Cartesian equation or rectangular equation y equals three, which we should recognize as a horizontal line passing through the point zero comma three. The second equation is r equals negative four secant theta, and since x equals r cosine theta, and cosine theta and secant theta are reciprocals of one another, we'll perform a substitution for secant theta. Secant theta is equal to one divided by cosine theta. Performing this substitution for secant theta, we have r equals negative four times one over cosine theta, or negative four divided by cosine theta. And now we will clear the denominator from the equation by multiplying both sides by cosine theta. On the left side, we now have r cosine theta equals, on the right side, cosine theta divided by cosine theta simplifies to one. The right side simplifies to negative four. And from here, since x equals r cosine theta, we substitute x for r cosine theta, which gives us the Cartesian equation x equals negative four. Before we go, let's verify this graphically. For the first example, both equations result in a horizontal line, and for the second example, both equations result in a vertical line. I hope you found this helpful.